Hello everyone, uh, I've got another video for you this time about the merge menu and well to illustrate merge menu I have set up the Roland D5 and the Korg Fox sample. I'm using the D5 as a master keyboard, um, I can just play something here, it comes into the arcade, but I've set it up a bit special because I've uh, set it to send out to MIDI channel 12 which is not in the range of the Fox sample and I've also deactivated local control which means um, the keyboard is separated from the synth engine, so um, the D5 sends out on MIDI channel 12, but with help of the routing menu on Alt 7, I can echo it back on another MIDI channel. And on the vocal sample, I can show the MIDI channel activity with the LEDs. So if I route this to channel 1, you see the vocal sample 1 channel is playing. If I send it to MIDI channel 6, there's another channel playing. Um, to be fair, on the vocal sample is the RK2 and the RK2 does uh, chromatic playing and velocity and I can even on MIDI channel 10 I can play polyphony. Um, anyway, what you will see is that a lot of LEDs will be blinking here because there's a lot of MIDI going on. Um, I'll first start on MIDI channel 5 which is the kick drum and I'll first make a little drum beat. So I go to Alt 1 to set the length. I'll make it 8 beats. And well, I'll just do this in real time recording like this. Like this. With Alt 6 on the quantize menu, I'll just quantize it to 16th notes. And now I go to a new track. And I go to Alt Output again and I select another MIDI channel, like MIDI channel 7, Hi-Hat, and I'll play in the Hi-Hat as well. Could be a bit tighter, so let's do this. And now what is left is another channel. I'll set it to channel, what was it, 6? Yeah, for the snare drum. Well, like this. So now you see all these channels are lighting already. There's a lot of MIDI going on. I'll add another track to it. Uh, channel 7. No, channel 8. Open hi hat. Yeah, sure. Add this too. And I think I've played it a little high so I can tune this. And um, do we have one left? I think there's something still on 9, right? Yeah, a bass sound. Well. So, and I can go to MIDI channel 10 and play some chords. Well, so you see I've got six tracks active and I've got all kinds of MIDI going on here. And now I'll show you that one track can not only contain one MIDI channel, but it can contain a lot of MIDI channels. And I've now forced them to be sent out on a single channel, but if I do merge, I will uh, sort of render these real-time effects and it will all become a multi-track MIDI track. So I'll just go, first I'll select the track to, um, to mix it to, so track 1, then I go to Alt 3, and I, it says mix down track 1, and I now just select which tracks I want to mix down with this track. I want all of it, so 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, they're all blinking now, and I press rec, and all is back to one track. And when I press play, I'll still hear all those channels played back. Um, well, now I still have, uh, if you see here, by the way, if I go to Alt 7 again, you see the channel is set to ORC, which means there's no mini forcing going on every 
track is going out to a different MIDI channel if you've played it that way. Um, yeah, I can still use now the second track for something completely different. But still, I've got the D5 here and the sample there. I can just go and merge these together as well. And now the D5 and the Volker sample is also in one track. Um, as I've mentioned in the uh, other demo um, about menu 2, the copy, you can also tear this everything up again. So you could go to Alt 2, you can go to the far right, there's Explode Track. And if I press Rack here, it will all be separated again. So, kick drums here, hi hat. So, if you would want to. Uh, if you've merged something together into one and you would like to uh, work on the individual base again, you can explode and edit it again. And I'll also show you something else because if I would want to merge it back uh, again to one track, um, there's a thing that if you mute uh, tracks and you do a track merge, then mute the tracks because every effect will be rendered on a mix down, on a merge. So muted tracks will also be mixed down as empty. So, which means effectively you've uh, hidden these tracks now. I've mixed it down on track three, but I rather want it on track one. I go to swap in the copy menu. So I've got it back to one here now. Okay, well, um, the other thing which is there is um, merging parts. Actually, it works the same as the copy menu. You go to Alt 3 for the merge. And instead of having a track active, you now deactivate all tracks and you can go to merge and you just press the part you want to merge with. You can also select the part with Alt right, Alt left. And if you merge on the same part, you effectively double the part length. So now it's 16 beats long. Um, this is the same function actually as if you would go to Alt 1 in the length menu and you would say 32 and you would say extend looped. That would be the same thing as merging to itself. Okay, um, I've deviated a little bit but uh, I hope it didn't distract too much from the merge menu and that you'll um, understand what this menu is for. <laughs> 